Hello guys, what you're about to see is a short video of my upcoming course, new course on database schema and structuring the database in Laravel. And one of the lesson was just looking at existing open source projects. And one of them is Laravel IO portal by Dries Vince and lately Joe Dixon added his own contribution to that. And this is a great example of reusable polymorphic relations in Laravel. And if you want to get notified when that course is released, just follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my newsletter, where I will explain all the details, and also on this YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber, you'll probably get the news first. Now, let's take a look at the polymorphic relations. Another database example we're looking at is Laravel IO portal by Dries Vince, official team member of Laravel, but Laravel IO was created long before he became a member there. But quite recently, it was recreated with newer version. And let's take a look at the database. It is a good example of polymorphic relationships and how they are used. So typical forum, you can imagine. So the main thing we're talking about is a thread. In other words, forum topic. But then replies. In here, you don't see thread ID. Instead, you see repliable ID and repliable type, which is a polymorphic relations, which means that you can reply to not only thread, but a lot of things. And let's see in the code. What I found in the code, in the thread model, for example, there's a trait receive replies. So it's not just defining a polymorphic relationship, but creating a trait. And then inside of that trait, there's a morph many to replies relation. But if we take a look through all the project and search for use receives replies, it's only one for now, but it is prepared to be extended and reply to anything. And it was extended to even its own interface of repliable with methods of latest replies, delete replies, and conversations, and all of that. Another example of polymorphic relations is subscriptions table. So there's no subscription to what exactly. There's no one relation to a particular table. Instead, you have subscriptionable ID and subscriptionable type. And then you have a trade called provide subscription, which is also in the thread model. And inside of that trait, you see morph to many relation. In this case, if we search for all the project for provide subscriptions, we see only one model of thread. So it's not reused in other places, but has potential to do that. What is reused, however, a better example of polymorphics is likes table. So likes for what? Again, there is likable ID and likable type. And in the thread model, again, we have has likes and has likes inside, it has a trait with morph many as usual. But if we search for has likes, use has likes, now we have three examples. So likes can be put on article, on the reply, or on the thread. So this is probably the best example so far of polymorphic relations being actually used in action with real reusability. Also a similar example is tags, so has tags, Article can be tagged, thread can be tagged, and if we search for use has tags, we also have three examples. So basically the whole Laravel IO project, the whole database is based on polymorphic and extendability for the future. So if you want to get familiar with polymorphic relationships, Laravel IO database is the one that you need to analyze.